Jensen Ackles and Castillo. Thursday. 
Um, and so it was the eight most glorious days. <laughs> it was just so cozy. I remember going back to my trailer and being like, I just want to sleep. <laughs> yeah, because you were in a onesie. <laughs> Two o'clock, time for bottle feeding. <laughs> Put the kibosh on that right now. Uh, awesome, it was a fun episode. So that was 250, and uh, one of you guys who wouldn't made it to, to two episodes. So thank you all. Uh, also, we are, we are officially through two thirds of the way of filming season 12. Uh, right now, uh, pretty killer time. Jared's very, uh, he likes the numbers things. He's got the giant calendar and stuff, and he's, he marks all the dates, and he's like, okay, we are exactly uh, eight sixteenths <laughs> into the season. I told you, Sean. Yeah. I'm a total, I'm a total number. Exactly, like it doesn't make sense to me either. Uh, <laughs> No, no, no. He likes he likes to confuse people, we so he just uses 16, 30 seconds. 16, 30 seconds. Right. Yeah, not 16, dude. Come on. Uh, <laughs> one over two. All, all the other math nerds out there, like. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, hey man, we're over two thirds of the way finished with. I'm like, just tell me when it's over. Just, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing and look up when it's it's done. Tell me when to stop. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're, we, uh, we feel very blessed, so thank you guys. Uh, before we keep talking numbers and Castiel, that was a quick hand. Were you airing out? I love those commercials where it's like, they're dancing, they're like... Playing the musk. <laughs> how are you? Hey, okay, how are y'all? Um, I was wondering since you guys have played these characters for such a long time, so there's ever been a time where you're reading a script for the first time and you already know what the characters you said. He doesn't read, so <laughs> tell me what to say and then tell me when it's over. Uh, yeah, yeah, there, there are some times. And that's actually a testament to good writing. So the writers, the longer they sort of get to know you and get to watch you and get to write from you, they'll start writing to your strengths and writing to how you play the character. So uh, I guess it's, it's kind of a sign that we've played it for so long. Thanks for calling us old. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sunday morning. We're playing with Catherine right now. I don't think we're giving away. Uh, we got to talking and figured out that she was six when we did the No, that was a lie. We did the match. She was older than that. She was just eight. Six? Eight. Six? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't there for that discussion. I thought she was 18 now. She's 20. She's 20. <laughs> if she were 18 now, then she'd have been six. <laughs> I'm sticking with that. For all you bad nerds out there. I had incorrect information. I was working on, uh, I was working on alternative truths. <laughs> that was another fast hand. I'm, I'm, I'm usurping you because I just see saw fast hand. You can do two in a row. You what? <laughs> An anomaly. I had a, I had a friend, uh, very smart friend, who uh, got his masters from Emory in English, and he got pulled over for speeding, and. Uh, the officer is like, license and registration. He's, I'm not putting that greater direction. Uh, so you know. And he was like, officer, I'm so sorry. Like, it's it's a total, and I, I live down the street. It's an anomaly that I've been um, kind of speeding. I just lost track, and uh, I'm so sorry. Like, I would love if you not, don't give me a ticket. And there's a pause, and the officer was like, a what? <laughs> a what, a what? He's like, it's a what? And that's like, anomaly? What? <laughs> I'm sure she'll get to it. How are you? I'm good, sorry. What is the, what does the pen say? Oh, I wish for this. It was for Misha. <laughs> well, I'm sorry you got this. You're welcome. Uh, this is These are kind of cozy. <laughs> sorry, I'm losing my voice a bit. Uh, I recently got my grandmother into Supernatural, and she's 72, and she thinks y'all are the hottest people ever. <laughs> 
<laughs> Has she seen this? She will now.
Yeah, I said this hot chick. Uh, anyway, alright. You get another one? I did too. Alright, right here in the front. Sometimes do you ever feel like overwhelmed? Do we ever feel overwhelmed? Yeah, with so much, you know, y'all so busy all the time. It's hard to gauge because I always feel overwhelmed. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's actually a, it's a funny, and I, uh, I've, I've had conversations in public and like, you know, with my doctor about just feeling so overwhelmed. I, I guess I'm reminded and emboldened and um, hardened by the fact that it's for a good reason, you know? Uh, it is tough, and I'll, I'll, uh, it's difficult, and I'll say, this is an insight into our lives. But because we had such busy schedules for the last two weeks, we didn't see our family last week because we got flight delays and stuff from Jacksonville uh, coming back. And so in the last 14 days, we've each seen our kids uh, like 10 hours. Um, yeah, I guess we're here. But that having been said, our kids get to see their parents doing something that they love with a family that uh, I don't dream of, you know, the ESPN family. Uh, and my family. Uh, so it is, it's, it's overwhelming, but I, I'm grateful for the chance to, to make these sacrifices. You know, I, I have friends and family who would love the opportunity. Um, and so it is overwhelming. It's, it's difficult. You know, we're going we're gonna to fly out tonight and work at 6 a.m. tomorrow, uh, back in the time. Uh, yeah, so, but it's, it's for a good reason. And with all, you know, I, I look out and I see the love shirts and the AKF shirts. It reminds me what a difference we've been able to be a part of. You know, like I, I look out; it's not just God. I have to set my alarm clock at 3 a.m. or something. It's more like you know. I look out and I see the shirts and I see the smiling faces and I see people like Catherine, who apparently was eight, but I thought she was six. <laughs> <laughs> and we look; it's it's a cool legacy to be a part of. So, I think we realize that we're that we are a part of something that is unique and, and special and. Um, I think that if, if we were doing something that didn't inspire us and didn't fulfill us, then yeah, there would be that sense of overwhelming because it's, it's you, you know, it's not, um, you're not waking up every morning with that drive. And, you know, yes, there are sacrifices that are, are being made in order to, uh, to fulfill this, this really unique thing, gift that we've been, that we've been given. Um, but I think, I think he and I both because we have such a, a passion for the purpose, uh, it, it helps us balance everything. And uh, then it's, it, you know, we also have each other to keep, to, to stay accountable. I mean, there's not a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of people out there that can say, I've got, I've got one person that knows basically everything that I'm going through at the same time, with work, with family, with friends, with, you know, I mean, we're even, uh, you know, we're, we're even in the same boat with like our, our house situations. And, I mean, it's like, it's, it, there's, there's a, a great kind of, um, there's a balance there. And, and I think that because he and I have each other to, to bounce things off of and to, to play, or and to, to uh, ask about, and talk about it, it's like we really have a partner in crime. I mean, it truly, it's not just on screen, it's off screen too. So. And we're blessed because of you guys that we get to keep doing this. I think his point, I think my point is, sometimes it sucks to wake up to an alarm, but the reason we're waking up to an alarm doesn't suck. Whether it's this, or our families, or our work, like we get to do things we love. Thanks to you guys for another year, by the way. <laughs> Uh, yes. Oh, oh, I'm in it. I'm not going in it. I'm in it. I told him to bring something. Wouldn't do it. Um, yeah, we, uh, my brother-in-law and I, and um, with the help of uh, some of another very talented uh, guy who helps us figure out recipes and stuff, or just basically tells us recipes, uh, been have been brewing now. Uh, quite heavily for uh, almost a year, uh, a commercial brewery uh, as we speak. We're pouring concrete this week, so. <laughs> Sorry? Are you gonna be out of Boston? 
just outside of Austin. Yeah. Yeah, so I, you will know all about it. I just, I don't like to put the, the, the cart before the horse. I, I want to get it done. I want to have something to show you guys before I start, you know, uh, promoting it, so.
Remember that it was a bridge too. Yeah. And, the old bridge. And it was it was freezing. Of yeah. course, bridges get colder than regular ground. So we were on this like ice freezing bridge at two in the morning, two five in the morning. Two six. Um, what's the point of this? Point is, is that we <laughs> we're all we're all goofing off. We didn't go to Misha's coverage. We're like, oh, this is actually a really good scene. Like he was putting on a really great performance. And, all right, I guess we got to be serious. Uh, so it was a really cool moment to see both Misha and Cass uh, reveal kind of what they what they feel. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we, we are yet to see. And I don't know yet. I've been far enough to see what those cosmic consequences are. But and I'm sure they're coming. Uh, okay. Uh, blue shirt. Australia? Yes. Where? Um, Good on you. Catch me and also do this. <laughs> well, 
we're not small people. So <laughs> if Jensen falls, I can't just catch him like this. So I had to like get in a squat position. I was like, well, you know, like lift from the back. Uh, I was like, I'm gonna have to lift from my legs because he's gonna be collapsing. And so he's walking down and he's holding this giant like uh, crocodile hunt, crocodile gonna be nice. <laughs> Stop the scene, you're just like, ow, that hurt. <laughs> yeah, there's a knife in my leg. <laughs> Alright, just hold him up, it doesn't last very long. Whereas, I'm fairly certain most people in our industry would be like, ah! I've got a knife in my leg. <laughs> yeah. I'll, give, I'll give him credit there. Yeah. Anyways, good day. Don't tell them, but I'm not wearing underwear right now. 